Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. My name is Jesper. This is the Create Audio Nifty Bundle, and today we're going to be discussing the case, which is called the Nifty Case. Who would have thought of that? So, before we deep dive in, let's have a quick look at the overall, well, build quality and connectivity of the nifty case right so first of all it's made entirely of metal and it's got a nice big create audio logo on the back uh, as well as audio out midi in midi through usb for midi over for midi over usb and of course the power input and well on and off switch uh, other than that i'm going to be talking about the front inputs in a bit more detail in the deep dive i really like this case it is it's nice it's sturdy it's not that expensive yeah what's not to love right yeah well you can of course always uh differ on taste but still you can't beat 266 euros right so we had a quick look at the connections on the back Let's have a quick look at the connections on the front. So you've got CV1 and gate one, and you've got CV2, gate two, you've got modulation, clock, and you've got two outputs um, that are connected to the output on the back. So the output here is mono, and these two are mono as well. So there's a tiny mixer behind that. But what the great feat of this what case actually is is that it's got that USB interface built in uh, that is able to connect over USB over MIDI and then convert those signals to CV and gates so that's of course the things that you need to connect or drive your modules um, I don't have any modules here in this case that will benefit from having a gate uh, but I can show you how CV works uh, by using chips so uh, let's hook that up, shall we? So I'm gonna connect CV1 to chip one. There we go. And I'm gonna connect, well, you might've guessed it, CV2 to chip two. And let me just start with just one that goes to the output. So you already start to hear the actual, um, uh, the actual oscillator doing its thing. And then in Ableton, I can just play this MIDI file, courtesy of Clemens Weyer's Music Productions, um, which is now going to be sent to channel one. And here we go. So you see, I'm sending, well, not me personally, but Ableton is sending MIDI signals to the Nifty case over USB. The Nifty case is then converting those MIDI signals to CV and that CV signal, CV, is used by chips, which is then looped back to the nifty case and connected to my audio interface like that. So we've got a fairly, well, straightforward approach there. If I now also connect chips number two and temporarily disconnect chip one, you'll hear that this is not being well, well tuned yet so this is not getting any sort of MIDI in, uh, information and that's of course because I'm running on channel 1 so channel 1 will indeed drive CV1 and gate 1 and if I want to use CV2 and gate 2 well you might have guessed it I need to change this to MIDI channel 2 there you go so now chip one or CV one and gate one don't get any information as you might hear from this. But if I then change it to channel three, both get the information. So that's just, that's just crazy, right? That, that's so usable. So if you do channel one, only the first output gets information. Channel two, only the, uh, the second. Channel three, both of them will get the information there as well so let's uh, change this back to channel one disconnect that ah perfect so let's 
let's uh, stop Ableton for now and disconnect this for now. Next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to grab my keyboard and I'm going to do the exact same thing that we did with, with Ableton but in, in another way. So right now I'm on channel number one. If I play this you won't hear anything because this one is disconnected. Connect that back. Okay, and channel two doesn't get anything. Same thing here, so I'm going to be changing channel to channel two. Enter. And if I change to channel number three, we're going to be hearing both of them. So this has so much potential. So just imagine that you have your songs already developed in Ableton or in your door of choice, and you're then able to send that uh, over USB or through a MIDI interface that you might have directly to your nifty case. And then your nifty case is capable of converting that to stat information to CV and gate information, which is then gonna be driving your modules. So I think that that on its own is such a great benefit of this case uh, that you already have that. As said, you could always get a standalone unit that could do the same, uh, but here it's in your case. You don't have to worry about your, um, uh, your, your HP real estate for that functionality. So you can just use that. And well, other than that, it's one of those great things about this case it's built exceptionally well for the money of course so i paid as i mentioned 266 euros for the complete set so that is the case that is the two uh, modules the two face plates 266 euros i I'm, I'm assuming in us it would be the equivalent so like 266 uh, us uh, without tax and in pound sterling well the equivalent of course uh going by the exchange rate of the, of the of the times i think that just for a bang for buck approach you can't beat this you simply can't beat this uh people can then of course complain about the the sound of chips or the sound or the usability of cells but still it is a bundle with a case with a midi interface with two modules for 266 euros that is great and i i truly like the well the, the character of these modules as i mentioned in the videos where i reviewed these in a bit more depth so i think that from a chip tune perspective these really have something to offer there so this is the the up close review of the nifty case and how you can then combine that with your modules, even though I'm, I'm using the, uh, the, well, the included modules, of course, but the same thing applies to any module that you have. Um, yeah, let's uh, go back to the studio and wrap this up. So my third and last video on the Nifty Bundle, and I assume everyone's seen my videos on cells and chips, and I hope you enjoyed my video on the Nifty case. Um, for now, I would just say, well, this bundle, um, it's got such a great bang for buck approach. I would recommend everyone from people considering getting into Eurorack to people who are already two or 300 HP in, pick this up if you've got the chance, uh, because this is a great way to get started with Eurorack. And this is also going to be a perfect secondary case. If you're already a seasoned Eurorack veteran, um, you can't beat this price. You can't beat this build quality. And I would say, well, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you thought this was useful. I have to say this video ha has been by no way, shape or form been sponsored by Create Audio. I bought this bundle with my own money, of course. Uh, but other than that, I can wholeheartedly recommend this to everyone. Um, 
hope you enjoyed it for now i would say stay safe stay healthy and i hope to see you for my next video for now take care cheers